here in Germany at Megazoo. This is what I think is equivalent to in America, like a PetSmart and a Petco, except way better. It's what I think it should be. Lots of aquascaping materials to the right, kind of par for the course. Lots of cool wood. We come straight back through here. This is what Petco's and PetSmart's and that kind of stuff doesn't have. Mabu pufferfish. Yeah, they're four ninety nine each. You just don't see that. Also have Leopoldi. Not Leopoldi. Let me think. Yeah, maybe they're Leopoldi. But stingrays nonetheless. Arowana. You've got rams, both the, the black rams and these normal German blue rams. This guy needs some TLC. You need some help, bud. This one's looking real good, though. Look at all these, the red-eyed puffers. And then, you can see all these little planet tanks. Ooh, what's this? It's that little guy right back there. I don't know what fish that is. Plants for sale. Nice, healthy plants. Lots of just bread and butter fish like you'd expect, you know, at a chain store and wow. And other stuff you don't like. Clouded archers up there. And you've got some half beaks over here. So just enough kind of rare stuff to, I guess, mix in with more common like snakeskin barbs, but they look good. Maybe longfin uh, white clouds. That orange white cloud in the back is something I hadn't seen before. Maybe you guys know what it is back there. Maybe it's just a, a, a gold that jumped over, but it looks more orange on the side. So yeah, lots of barbs. Standard kind of clown loaches, cardinals, electric blue caras. Then we get some Africans and some saltwater stuff. But we got nano stuff over here. Some green neon rasboras. Ooh, it's nice, large Neon Tetris. Looks good. The Rakovai Achilles, the Fabronchius Rakovai, and their pairs. Normally you only find the males, but boy and girl in here. So that's something you don't see every day. This Achilles fish doesn't live very long, so you have to breed them like every 18 months or less. Mostly like every year. It's like Zebra Auto Synchless back there. Oh, won't focus, focus. There we go. Nice, Sultan Pleco. And down here you've got the uh, Royal Plecos, and some floating around abuse, tissue culture plants. This could be something similar I would do in the store, kind of a display like for a grocery store. Not bad. You can bring your CO2 in and get it replaced or repressurized. On this side, some more nano stuff, some more shrimps. I can see a nice pair, some nice crimps down here. Yeah, looking real good. Might be Nigerian reds. Some coin guppies. Ooh, the kitty tetra. I love the kitty tetra. These are one of my favorite tetras in escape. Speaking of escape, so yeah, salt water. We've got a beautiful saltwater tank over here, but I'll show you the beautiful escaped planet tanks. So those of you like saltwater, this could get people into saltwater. Imagine it's your local pet store. Kessel lighting. And then you've got over here, IAP LC. Local employee that manages all these tanks. This is his tank. I had to get special permission to film here because they didn't want to let us. 
Lots of uh, ADA stuff. Lots of dry goods, lights. Honestly, it's just, you know, imagine you just go to your local store and they have Kessel lighting, all this different LED lighting. They've got fluval lighting sitting towards the ground. Replacement gaskets, parts, all the parts for Eheim. I kind of love part. I see. They've got some live foods, and this is, so this is where I would say, like it's got that chain store feeling to it. Oh man, even since I was here, most people bought all the foods. You can see the tag's still moving. There was blackworms to buy. Looks like there's a little bit left up here, some planktons and stuff, but selling out. Frozen food section, a few more books. Again, Chris Lukup, who brought me here today. A couple of his books. Here's one here. Let's look up another one right here. But yeah, golden pods, huh? Nice. But yeah, kind of a. I don't know. It's cool. You, it's cool to see actual hobbyists working at the store instead of just someone who needed a job. It's hobbyists that are doing the scape tanks, the saltwater tanks, different setups. Wow, that's cool, I hadn't seen that before. See how it's lit up down there? It looks bad on camera because it's blinking, but it doesn't blink in person. So, these are Eheim tanks. You can see nets and stuff like that over there. And as we come back over here, where we kind of originally started with the stingrays and wubu puffers, you can start seeing more dry goods, more foods. I thought this was really cool. The tops of all of them have like little scape stations. I think it's just a nice little added effect. Reminds you, you know, you recreate nature here. Lots of Sierra product, tropical, Tetra, caves, micro lift. And look at this, you can just buy CO2 tanks here. It's full CO2 tanks. Regulators, dinner lay stuff, shrimp king products. Got all your scaping soils. Lots of rock and wood. I mean, you could, you no know, one would be sad if this was the closest store to their house. You'd be happy that you have this much around. Yeah, you might not have everything you want, but look at this. Lots of dragonstone, other type of rock as much wood as you can want to try. And it's, you know, if you look around, it literally is a chain store like in America, except they actually do Aquatics Right scaping station here. So you can play with the wood and the rocks, make what you want to make. These are like terrariums. You see how it's got the metal plate here, but glass and glass, kind of cool. Not quite sure what that's used for yet, but maybe, oh, it's, I think it's for uh, rodents, like hamsters and bunnies and that kind of stuff, because we're in that section, so. Yeah, I just, I just want to show you guys what a chain store is like in Germany. It just, and to me, it's so much better than America that I know America can do better. If their version of a Home Depot can even do better, we can do better. All right, so that's a tour of the German chain store. Check out this store right here, super cool. I've been touring all the stores I can find, different feels, different concepts. And if you're an Aquarist in Germany, you are lucky because this is amazing.